Hey, what's up, guys? This is your boy Leo Zante. I'm bringing you another video. And on today's topic, we're going to talk about Dwayne. I know everybody's been uh, making uh, comments of Dwayne can't tank and people are building him uh, a certain type of way. And today, we're going to talk about a different type of way you could build Dwayne, um, which I think a lot of people overlook is fighting spirit if you don't know fighting spirit just recovers your hp and you get a chance to berserk once you get hit a lot of people don't know how to use this counter ability because it's a little bit different from other counter abilities and i'm gonna show you the potential of uh, fighting spirit To activate. I cannot let you leave here alive. All right, now we're in position. Now we're gonna keep hitting him until the counting spirit activate. As you can see, he recovered. He recovered uh, 1600 HP. Um, the reason why is, is because strength. counting spirit uh, recovers the amount of HP by the magic stat and you see you see I boost up my magic stat to around 400 and also it modifies by faith so the higher the faith the more uh, fighting spirit uh, you know it recovers with this um, Dwayne could uh, land his disable a lot more and he could still defend himself As you can see my uh, stats with uh, I, I got on Esper you know, he got around 40 slash 30 spear, uh, pierce, which, you know, is meant for Kane <laughs> and, and other spear uh, users. And then he got 32, so he could still tank magic attacks and still survive. Um, still got to be wary for holy, but there's different ways you can counter, uh, counter magic with him, even with a high faith. You can uh, either equip, uh, boost your spirit, or you could equip uh, his TMR. Which gives him a uh, extra twenty five percent magic resist, so nobody gonna one shot him with holy. So another thing I brought is I brought Odor, who got fighting spirit also. I'm gonna show you the potential of fighting spirit right now. She she rocking around five hundred fifty nine magic. I'm gonna show you what she can recover for. As you can see, she covered for around 2,000 HP. And as you know, Dole don't got that much HP to begin with. So you could do uh, very tricky builds with this, especially a Drain Force recovering a door. You know, every time she get hit and she survives, she can recover. And uh, you can see her uh, resistances right now. And the resistance is pretty good, like pretty, you know, high. Um, I don't have no VCs on two of my people so that's that's just showing you what her resistance can be if you build build them right i don't have resistance on uh, ayaka or skull so uh she can still hit pretty hard um even with this build uh because with the s uh vision card i got uh i use that uh vision card which caboose uh Defense plus 10 and then fire attack plus 35. So I was, you could do a lot of combos with the leader. Um, just showing you one team comp. You could do combos with the leader and um, Dwayne. See, the leader could use meditate. And then Dwayne could use atonement, which boosts his slash attack up significantly. And give himself defense piercing. And now we're gonna look at the damage the leader could do. Thank 
So this is going to one-shot a lot of people. And then you still mess around with the vision of uh, cards and do other things, you know. So, um, I just wanted to show you all that, um, that, that there's different ways you can do it. So there's different ways you could build a lane. Um, I'm just showing you the potential of fighting spirit, which I think a lot of people overlook. Um, you could, um, I had a match where I would just keep healing and healing and healing, and it couldn't kill me. And then uh, you could even use uh, sleep blade on Dwayne, which when he go berserk, he could still hit. Uh, he's gonna go after the targets. If you don't know what berserk do, it's almost like confusion, but uh, instead of uh, confusion. Um, you know, it, it, it acts like confusion, but it don't target your teammate. It doesn't target, you know, your teammates. It just goes straight for the enemy. So you can put Sleep Blade on him, and he will eventually sleep the enemy because he already got high faith, and he can still recover. And there's a lot of different ways you could build him. So he could go his defense. I'm gonna show you his defense potential. Now my golem only have 10 of the um, defense on his S um, on the board instead of 15. So you could go right there. You can see he got 53 right here and 21 spirit. If you want him to have straight defense, um, if you have the platinum armor, you will have extra plus two. But he can have over 64, 64 defense. I still have uh, good resistances towards uh, like Kane. You can still have Slash. Still have Pierce. You know, it's, it's it's pretty good. You know, all around, he's a pretty good solid uh, unit. Uh, same thing with uh, Odoa. She you can mess around with Odoa and build her a certain way. And you don't have to build her with Drain Force. You could build her with um, her Exorcist card. You can leave that on there so she can have some resistances. And she still will have uh, some fairly good attack with some magic. Um, you could take that off. And she'll have some resistances to get in close to the enemies and use launch and still recover. She can survive. Or you could put on self sacrifice. You could boost her attack all the way up. Or we can ignore everything else and just go straight attack and then use uh uh Dwayne uh atonement to boost her slash attack up to like crazy levels. And yeah, she yeah, she she get hit very hard, especially with the um Dwayne slash attack up. Um there's a lot of possibilities you could do. Even on uh, Ramada is a very good candidate. Uh X Men's uh Ramada is a very good candidate for Dwayne. Um, with this build with Dwayne, I like to use uh, Luasa. Actually, Luasa with that with this uh, vision card, Dwayne get that plus ten defense, and he get a fire attack up. So Luasa can very um, benefit very good with Dwayne. And um, one thing about Dwayne I noticed because I noticed in Guild Wars a lot of people using Agrius, he he got fifty percent for confusion and stop. He's not gonna get hit <laughs> with uh, status effects from Argus and Disable, and a lot of things that people, uh, if they put him on the same team with uh, Luasa, it's almost the same thing. It actually, it actually is the same thing. It, you know, uh, still 50% uh, with Confusion, uh, Stop, Disable. So you don't need uh, Rosa to come in there trying to use Pure Prayer to avoid uh, Argus. Um, this will be a perfect counter for Argus. And then you can have somebody else come in there, maybe a lightning unit to protect. Uh, you can even have Sid make a comeback again, you know, because everybody loves Sid. You can have Sid in there just, you know, protecting them from uh, water units like Eldira and 
You can just mess up the whole team composition. Look, see, you can have Sid just come in there real quick. You know, just mess up the whole team composition. Just because of that. And then with Dwayne, um, but any sub job with Dwayne will be perfectly fine. Um, I just, I'm, I'm loving up both to see which one I like better. Um, but I know with Viking, which I'm very interested about, um, it's not because of the launch of ability I want Viking. It's more of a knee breaker. Um, because he got high faith, he can land and mobilize a lot more. And that can protect your other teammates, even when he's not tanking from getting hit. Like, especially if you're using Lawasa and he used Knee Breaker, Lawasa can still get attack from range and be perfectly safe. And uh, to boost his attack even further, if you decide not to use Fighting Spirit to boost his attack even further, Killing Axe will just skyrocket his attack, especially with um, Entonement. And then, uh, you know, you got launch, which in the future, I think um, people are going to start going for more crit damage builds. Um, when they start bringing out more vision cards to increase crit damage, there are going to be a lot more crit damage builds. And that's going to be very interesting. Um, he's going to be good for critting. And then you also, for uh, his other sub abilities, you could use uh, Dragoon just to have another damage type, you know, then Slash. And that would put, uh, you know, he could avoid holy with just jumping, you know. So that could be another uh, good advantage to have in Dragoon over uh, over Viking. Um, and then if you don't have high magic resist, I mean high, uh, if you don't have high faith, you can still use Dragoon on Dragon's Blade. And each time he damaged, they damage the enemy, you could get some health back. So that's still good. And then um, sorcery counter, which I'm going to be messing around with and see the damage and the damage possibilities. I'm still leveling him up and uh, working on him. I just got all his main job abilities maxed out. And then I'm working right now on Dragoon. So I'm going to see if I can, uh, how much damage is going to be in the uh, different uh, possibilities. But my last one, I'm, I'm going to use him for a while. And I'm definitely going to max out all his skills like how I did Cecil. Um, and that's another good um, person. You could pair him up with Cecil could have the magic redu um, reduction on uh, Dwayne. And then he could have high face still and recover a lot while having a uh, magic reduction. And he won't be getting hurt from physical attacks that much. And then you can have, you know, you could pair up him up with Cecil and increase Cecil slash, uh, slash pin, um, attack. And then they could do some great damage together. Um, and maybe have a healer or arithmetician with them and you know stay uh healing them up and doing damage and it'll be there's a lot of possibilities with the wings so it's try not to be all one-minded about how to build them there's different possibilities there's different ways um for me personally i like using Igon. Igon is a nice esper he got two resistances um on his esper board i don't know if a lot of people looked or not but uh he got two resistances on his Espo board. You can go for Pierce all the way to 15 Pierce, and then you get 15 Magic. So this would be perfect for him if you want him to tank and avoid uh, Canes and Arithmeticians and um, Magic users. Or you could go, you know, you could maybe do a combination of Pierce and then Slash or Magic and then Slash. You can boost up some of his accuracy. Um, and yeah, there's a lot of different possibilities though. Like with Dwayne, he's a he's a really good unit. And, um, I'm I'm very glad to have him on my team. He's very different from um, uh, other tanks. Um, if I was to compare him to somebody, I would compare him to Cecil. Instead, uh, Cecil is more of a a, a defensive. Like he's like Cecil. He could he, he's like a tank, but he doesn't have hate regeneration. He's like a bruiser, right? But he doesn't have hate rege regeneration. He's like a defensive tank, but doesn't keep the hate on himself, right? While Dwayne, he's an offensive tank, and he keeps the hate on himself for a couple turns after he keeps getting attacked, and then the hate comes off of him, and then the other teammates will be exposed. So 
they were like yin and yang, as I uh, suppose. And I think they'll probably make a great team with each other. Um, you know, just reducing damage and getting in there. And Dwayne's going to be a very good unit. Um, Long term, he got high HP. You can get over 6,000 HP. And it's it's ridiculous what you could do with him. I really love this unit. And uh, he's perfect. Um, So... Who is this unit good for? I think it's good for advanced players uh, that is not one-dimensional. Players that don't really rely on Warrior Light and Argrius. Players that don't rely on one tank to take all the damage. Um, I think those type of players will mostly benefit out of the wing um, because I think they're used to not having tanks and finding different ways to survive without tanks. Um, a lot of advanced players I've seen, I've seen some high ranking uh, PvP, which I am also a high ranking PvP player. Um, last uh, class match I was ranked 5. Um, only a couple of waypoints, I think 5 or 4, I can't remember. I think only a couple of waypoints from um, getting in the top 3. Um, other than that, um, I think Dwayne is uh, uh, meant for advanced players, players that have been in the game, players that open-minded to, to build different uh uh you um you know like builds with characters um you know players that got a lot of equipment i know a lot of people say you don't need plus five for you know this and that players that got those plus five equipment they're gonna have a lot of different possibilities of how to build a unit i remember when this card first came out a lot of players they overlooked the card because they was like, oh, the car is not that good. The car suck. A lot of players don't have this card, and this card is actually pretty good. As you can see, his match attack is like really good. And if you pair him up with a fire unit, because a lot of players at that time, that point in time, only had rain. And um, if you pair him up with a fire unit, they will benefit the most out of this. And a uh, fire unit that I'm thinking about is uh, Luasa. Um, as you can see, Luasa. With some, I'm just gonna show you a, a build. Oops, sorry. I'm just gonna show you a build with Lassa, which I really like. Um, Lassa attack is like the biggest in the world. Lassa attack is ridiculously high. Her uh, resistance is really good. Um, players that have uh that built characters like this um and they even give her like let's say like a slash resist or something like that players that build up they have different cards and you make different builds like this and it's it's ridiculous like her attack's still high without self-sacrifice and she have no uh resistance you know down on anything she could, she could tank pretty much not tank but she could take hits you know and survive um besides her low health uh but she could take off like a you know like a slash attack unit you know uh, unlike uh frederica or uh lucia they get hit with slash they usually die uh, she could take some slash tech um units attacks and still survive depending on the unit like ruin storm probably still might be a threat because he can lower down resistances you know but uh other than that it's like you know she's not even max well other than that it's the possibilities are endless so i would love to see uh what y'all can make out of Dwayne, and y'all let me know make um comment on below under the comment section and uh, wait for my next video it's coming very soon thank you and have a blessed day